to Telling Tales. Now this is the video which is to accompany the story The Lost Happy Endings by Carol Ann Duffy. It's really important that you uh, watch that story first and listen to it. If you've got a copy of the book that's even better, you can look through it and take lots of ideas from that. Uh, but we're going to do uh, a video, in fact I'm going to do two videos. This first video is all to do with doing a short burst piece of writing. Uh, and the idea of this video is we're going to try and do some changing of the atmosphere from pleasant to tense and menacing. And the other video is a longer piece of writing. So, changing the atmosphere. Okay, there are a number of tricks you can use to try and change the atmosphere. And there's an amazing bit in the book where we've got, uh, we find out about Jub's life, a bit about what, uh, what she does in her day-to-day -day life, where she collects the happy endings uh, at the end, of, uh, the end of the night, and then uh, the, uh, in the evening, she then lets those happy endings go out so that the children can enjoy the happy endings to their stories at bedtime. It's an amazing idea. Um, what I want to do is, is I want you to think a little bit about the part of the book where um, the atmosphere changes. So we have this lovely opening. Uh, it's all pleasant and feels kind of nice. And then the atmosphere changes. And I wanted to see how Carol Ann Duffy actually goes about doing that. And there are some really good tricks that she uses to actually make that change. So the first one that she uses is she, she puts in there a change in the weather. So we've got a sunny, pleasant kind of starter, but then it changes to a misty, much darker uh, atmosphere. She uses a really interesting phrase where she uses the words scarves of mist. This idea that the mist is draped around, but not in a nice way, because she uses the word noosed, which is clearly not a nice way of describing how those scarves of mist are draped around the neck. Okay, So that change in the weather, and using some really good vocabulary to do that. The second thing that she does is that she uses something called personification. Personification is where you take uh, an object, takes a, a, an ordinary object, and you give it the characteristics of a person, of a human. So hence personification. Now, she makes those ordinary things seem to come alive, but the way she does that, she makes them sound really threatening. So for example, the trees, they have long arms and twiggy fingers. The bushes crouched and they're ready to pounce like muggers. So she uses personification, throws a simile in at the end there as well. Another thing she does as well, uh, or you could do to change the atmosphere and to change the feeling from pleasant to tense, is to maybe describe uh, three things. We've talked about the power of three before, and the power of three is often really, really a good way of being able to set a scene and change that atmosphere. So describe three things, one after the other, of how that scene has changed. Start using some powerful vocabulary as well. So the choice of words you use is really, really important. As I said before, she uses the word noosed. Now, noose is not a nice thing, so you hang somebody with a noose. It's really not very pleasant. And uh, that's a cracking word to use to describe something being draped around the neck. Um, she uses the word shiver. She uses the word thickened to describe the mist. And she uses another word villainous. Villainous meaning like a villain. Yeah? A villain, the baddie in a story. Okay. Another thing that she does right at the end of that section is that she uses a short sentence. And that short sentence really stops you in your tracks. And then suddenly we get those spoken words with no reporting clause after it. Hello, my small dearie -o. Those words there, remember? There's no reporting clause. We don't know who said that until we turn the page. So there's that sense of What's going on here? Who is this? Who is this suddenly speaking? So, what I'd like you to then, for your short burst writing, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to think about how you could change a pleasant scene into something that is an unpleasant scene, just by using those tricks. So, you should see the sheet that's in front of you there, and it'll give you a clue. I've, I've summarised those things for you. So you can see the change in the weather, the personification, maybe using a power of three, the powerful vocabulary, bung in a short sentence, and maybe have some spoken word just to give a hint as to somebody or something that is menacing that's hanging around there. Okay, 
love to see some of this writing and uh, and I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's useful to help you see uh, see how you can use uh, The Lost Happy Endings by Carol Ann Duffy. See you next time.